Here's how to make a clay figure. First, grab some tools, some pliers, an X-Acto knife, and a pick. Let's talk materials. You'll need wire, some aluminum foil, and some clay. For this, I'm using polymer clay. First, measure out a length of wire. It should be around the length of your final project. This project is a snake, so the skeleton is very simple. Just a small loop at one end should be enough for the head. Next, pull out a sheet of aluminum big enough to cover the skeleton and be filler. There should be enough so that you're not wasting clay as a filler. Finally, cover the project in a thin layer of clay. This is just rough out the shape and for you to build upon. It's not supposed to look good. That's next. Smooth out the rough surface how you want the project to end up. Start detailing in the area you will hold the least, so the details won't get messed up. In this case, it's the head. Make eye sockets using the pick. Roll two small balls of clay. They should be small enough to fit in the eye sockets. From there, add even smaller balls of clay on top if you want pupils. Use your knife and make crescent shapes along the belly. These will be the snake's belly scales. For the back scales, use your pick, toothpick, like a pen, and score the back how you draw a pineapple. Make the scores closer as you get to the tip of the tail and to the top of the head. Going back to the head, create two small teardrop-shaped balls of clay. Add them above the top of the eyes, with the fat end facing towards the snout end. These are eyebrows for a cartoony look. Use your pick and poke two holes at the end of the snout for a nose. Finally, use your knife and cut a small incision at the very end of the snout for a mouth. Make it wide enough that you can open it and put in the tongue. Making the tongue, take some clay and roll into an oval. Very carefully, cut one end in half and spread the tongues of the tongue apart using your pick. Carefully insert the base of the tongue into the mouth and close the opening around it so that it won't fall out. Read your instructions and remember to stay around for the smell of burning. To test that it's done, carefully use your fingernail or your pick and gently poke your project. Polymer clay is a little soft out of the oven, but your poking shouldn't leave very deep indents, if any. If it's resilient, then let it cool and you're done.